Hi guys, welcome to Print Right. I'm your host Ranveer, and today in this video, we are bringing you a new thing, and that is transfer printing. So this is very popular among the online sellers, or you can tell some sort of printers. So this printing you can see this is printed in a paper, but it's not printed for like totally. This this will be transferred to the garments. Means. Suppose if you are online seller or like uh, you you manufacture tags, tags which you will put inside backside of your uh, t-shirts and all, size tags, brand tags, all these tags. So what happened? That time you require this type of printing frequently because as an online seller, what will happen? You will get suppose this is the print, this is written print right. Okay, this is the our company logo print. So suppose you assume that this is your design. So your design, if you get your design every day one one print for this design, and suppose like this design, you have hundred type of designs. The hundred designs you will get one one print every day. Some are two color design, some are single color design, some are four color design, whatever color you want to print. So that time what happened? It's totally impossible to put the frames again and again and complete your order. So in that time, this transfer printing will help you a lot because this transfer printing. Suppose this order you're getting for one one order you're getting every day for thirty days. So what the online sellers is to do? They will print in a paper like thirty pieces. They will print and they will store it. And whenever the order will come, suppose he knows that every day one one order will come. That particular one order, what he will do? He will just on his heat press, like you used to do at the time of your curing. He's just on his heat press, and he will put the transfer to the garment, and he will press it. After pressing, he will peel it off, and you will get it exact same print. Like screen printing, so instead of garments, you will be printing first in a paper, and that paper you can store it for one month, six month, one year, whatever time you want to store. And whenever you want to print, you just have to on your heat press, put it above the heat press, press it, peel it off. That's that's it. So for doing that thing, we'll show you the process of doing a single color transfer. And we'll have some other video where we'll be showing you multicolor transfer. So, like today, we'll show you the single color transfer. So, let's start. So, for the printing, you require first thing is transfer paper and transfer powder. This transfer powder is called as hot melt powder. This is an adhesive. That used to uh, like stick a print to your garments, and this is transfer paper. This paper you'll get in 20, 30 inches in print right. So here you can print several prints, so no need to waste. You can do here, 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 and whatever you like. No need to cut and waste it. And you require a film. This film, or you can use a tray. Or whatever substance is only to store the powder, hot melt powder. This is the first thing we'll be using. Then you require your printing mass, frame, and a design what you want to print. And you require the palette tape. You have to put. In your palette, I told you it is very important what you are doing printing. Always put your palette tape in your palette. You require a squeezy. You require a palette gum adhesive, spray tag, a plastic solding because this uh, method is only can be used in plastic solding. You can't use the water base, so you require plastic solding and your ink knife and. Some garment cloth, waste cloth for printing. 
So this I use a waste t-shirt cloth for printing and you can use t-shirt as well. So let's start. Before starting, first of all, we have to put a frame and all these items like frames, mesh, plastic soling, spray tag, knife, pallet tape, squeezy, all these things if you like don't know it properly, then we have given one link in the description box. You can go and have a look there. So first of all, we'll we'll just uh, like put a frame in the printing clamp. So we lower it down. Put the frame. Tie it up. So we tie it firmly both the side. I told you every time whenever you tie it. Don't tight it one side. After that, once it get it firmly tight, tight it both the side. Nice tight. Now it's ready for print. Before that, we have to give the off contact. Off contact is done. Now it's ready to print. So before printing, we'll do one thing. We'll put the pallet tape. In the pallet so and if you don't know the pallet tape how to put the pallet tape click on the i button you will come to low so i will do it fast i'll just put the pallet tape So it's done. Now, once the parallel is done, you want a full elaborate video. We have in description, and I just go. Uh, you'll just go and grab the cutter, okay? So we got a cutter. I'll cut the edges. Once you cut the edges, don't forget to fold it. Otherwise, it will start cracking whenever you are peel it off. Don't forget to fold it. Once you fold it, we'll keep it aside. Now, we'll cut the edges. Cut the edges in a nice manner so you don't leave any of your extra extra pallet tape so the edges is cut. Now the edge is cut. Now we are ready for the printing. So for printing we have to do markings and all but it's only a demonstration. So we are not doing markings because you are going to do in a paper and not going to do in a garment. If you are going to do in a garment put markings and do the alignment in a chest, logo, whatever you have to do. If you don't know the markings Click on the I button again and see the marking videos. Now, next step, our pallet spray. So, in the pallet spray, you have to shake it nicely, firm and good. Take it for 15 centimeter distance, both the side. Now 
nicely firmly now pellet is spray is done now we we'll start doing the printing before that we will put the squeezy in our frame and we will put the ink in our design or in a mesh so let's do it so the, like now we will do the printing we will take our transfer paper we have cut it in four pieces it's up to you if you want to cut or you can do some sometime cutting is good sometimes not good because some wastage, wastage will be there but for demonstration purpose we have just cut it so that will be easy for us and that will be easy for you to understand so now we have done that uh, our artwork is here now we will do the printing a two pass is more than enough for a solid print see the print is done in the paper now we'll put it inside the hot melt powder so for putting the hot melt powder that's why i told you take something like a paper or some tray if you have a tray you can simply you can just pass it off like this you can pull it off so now we don't have a tray i'll just show you in a normal manner just take take the transfer hot melt transfer paper in in your cap only just pour it nicely evenly if you have a tray it's much easier because you can just just hold it off above your tray so now i don't have a tray so i just done this for just showing purpose but when you go for production just use a tray so we have so test paper is done so you can see the powder now we'll this is useful powder so we'll just put the powder back to it i'll just keep it in my film jack it off whatever not necessary i'll keep it aside and just pour back my left powder hot milk powder is inside so now we have put it up paper we have fully flooded with powder we have jacket of the excess powder and store it again so this one kg will give you thousands of t-shirts easily now we'll put it to heat if you have a heat gun you use the heat gun or if you have a flasher you put inside the flasher so we have a flasher we'll put inside the flasher so we heat it for 15 seconds or it depends on the temperature what you have given so once it heated it will be fine for pasting now our dye is done a little bit hot and like you can now it's ready you can store it as much day you want to store now after that you have to on your heat press that's it on your heat press put your t-shirt press it peel it off and done and in case if you are doing multicolor, you can't put the powder you have to mix the powder with the color suppose you are taking your multicolor, just mix it with the color nicely and you can print it with the flasher like normal printing you're doing a t-shirt you do one stroke first color put it the flasher and do second color same thing with the first color pull the flasher second color but in the color you have to put a powder and mix it so we'll make a dedicated video for that so now it's done so let's go on 
on the heat press and wait it till it get heated and you can store it whenever you want so let's do it so we have already done the printing now see the printing is done so now we have to transfer so this thing you can keep as many days you want so now we'll show the transfer process that you can do in a daily prints first of all on the heat press let it be 183 degrees celsius and after that we'll press this with the help of this so first of all we'll take the garment this is a t-shirt garment out and put it in the heat press after that we'll press it for medium pressure 45 seconds so it might be different from paper to paper garment to garment or uh, temperature to temperature in this scenario it will be 45 seconds when you are doing your printing make sure you calculate your time first after that you start doing in that time so we have to wait a little unless it become 180 degrees celsius so now our heat press reached it 180 degrees celsius so we are ready to press so we will take our uh, like uh, transfer paper put it in a garment nicely set the timer if your timer is set before no issue but uh, i am i used to set it for 60 seconds so set the timer and press so we we'll press it for 45 seconds in medium pressure 180 degrees celsius so it's already 35 seconds now seconds so this is how you have to do your transfer is very easy and very convenient for online sellers who can store their project easily and conveniently so it's 15 seconds now 10 seconds 5 seconds 4 3 Two, one. Start beeping. We'll take out our garment. So it is there. Now we have to peel it off. Now we will do the peel off of the garment. Do it slowly. Don't do it that fast. Otherwise, it might you might can get a crack down. So it's coming very nicely, firmly. Okay, almost done. Yes. So you can see the print is done. This is how you have to peel off your transfer paper and how you have to do the transfer. It's very helpful in your online journey, online sellers, or you are a label printer, tag printer, any sort of printing is very helpful who want to store their print so now we came to know how to do your transfer printing so like our video subscribe our channel stay tuned see you soon